concepts, because we are not talking about allowing or forbidding the Kiev regime to strike our territory. It already does that with the help of drones and other means. But when we are talking about the use of precision weapons, long-range Western-made weapons, it is a completely different story. The fact is that I have already mentioned this, and any experts will confirm it, both in our country and in the West. The Ukrainian army is incapable of striking with modern Western-made long-range precision systems. It can only do that by using intelligence from satellites, which Ukraine does not have. They get the data only from EU satellites or from the United States. In general, from NATO satellites. That's the first thing. The second and very important thing, maybe the key one, is that the flight missions in these missile systems can, in fact, be inputted only by NATO military personnel. Ukrainian servicemen cannot do this. So it's not a question of allowing the Ukrainian regime to strike Russia with these weapons or not. It is a question of deciding whether or not a NATO country could be directly involved in a military conflict. If this decision is made, it will mean nothing else but the direct participation of NATO countries, the United States, European countries in the war in Ukraine. This is their direct participation. And this already, of course, significantly changes the very essence, the very nature of the conflict. It will mean that NATO countries, the United States, European countries are at war with Russia. And if that is the case, then having in mind the change in the very essence of this conflict, we will take appropriate decisions based on the threats that will be presented to us. Well, earlier I discussed the issue of a potential wider conflict between NATO and Russia with a panel of guests. Whatever country is at war with the U.S. and, and Russia helps them to strike U.S. territory, I think there would not be a discussion whether Russia is part of this war. So um, I, think, I think the West is already active part of the war for a long time because uh, from international law, and we have this from uh, the experts of the German Bundestag, of the German parliament, even um, sharing intelligence data, operative data, intelligence data, is already participation of the war. In my point of view, uh, this present regime in Washington wants an escalation because they are, in my sense, very afraid of the new elections where Kamala Harris uh, has hardly a chance to get uh, president. and. With uh, Donald Trump regaining the White House, it means that many criminal elements in the United States will face uh, criminal ch uh, charges. And uh, these, what they sometimes call the deep state, is uh, very scared of this. So they could be, it could be that they try to escalate the Ukraine war to declare martial law. And with martial law, they could get around an election. But I doubt that this will work out. Um, if the West is risking this escalation, um, I'm afraid there might be a Russian reaction with which the West doesn't like. And then we are coming really in a, uh, in a real process of, of escalation steps. And whether we find a way out before the, the well, unthinkable would happen, I don't know. Really, the West has to think uh, whether it's worse uh, to risk a world war, a real hot world war, um, because of all these uh, questions we have here. Um, attacking Russia with long-range Western weapons, which technically Putin is right, would be managed uh, and programmed by, by Western, by NATO soldiers, uh, is, I think, a step which is um, yeah, the final one at which the, the, Russians, the Russians will react with what they didn't do until now. All right, AK, let, let me come to you now. Now, Germany took part in the so-called peace summit in Switzerland earlier in the year, which did not include Russia. Now, but now Chancellor Scholz is calling for renewed efforts to... I mean, Olaf Scholz and with his uh, foreign minister, Annalena Baerbock, who is uh, not the most diplomatic, uh, uh, skilled person in, in, in the world,